Well, hi, lovely people. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious eggless mango cake with samovita and also the mango glaze to go with it. So we're going to begin by washing our fruits, the mango, which is a key player in this cake. Um, we're going to wash and cut and chop them roughly. Um, and this, this mango actually has a bad part, probably where it hit the floor when it fell from the tree. So I just cut that part off because I don't need it. So right now I've crushed my mangoes and I'm trying to cut them up so I can blend them. So after cutting, I'm going to measure out the quantity I need. You can use any mango around your locality. Yeah, I'm in Nigeria and in Nigeria here we have different varieties of mangoes. The mango I'm using in this video is called mommy mango. Also, I also prefer to use this mommy mango or um, the what I want called broken. They taste good and they have flesh enough to give me what I want. But any mango, any sweet mango is fine. Even the sour ones, so it tends to give you a sour taste. So I don't like using sour mangoes. And for those who are wondering, yes, you're right. It's one of the mangoes from the mango trees I showed in my mango tree video. We were able to get some broken mangoes and some mummy mangoes before the rodents, bats, and even humans could finish them up. So we're going to be needing the following ingredients. About three fourth cup or one cup of mango depending on the kind of mango. Some mangoes are actually more juicy than others. Two cups samovita, five eight cups sugar, three quarter cup of oil, three quarter cup of milk at room temperature. You can use almond milk or any other non-dairy milk of your choice. First thing we're going to do after cutting up is to blend the semovita into powdered state. Please make sure your blender pitcher or jug is dry before blending or before pouring the semovita um, grains so it doesn't stick to the sides. And that can be so difficult to wash off. Pour the powdered semov grains into a dry plate or bowl and set aside. Next is the mango and sugar. We're going to blend these two to smooth paste. So we'll pour in the bowl and set aside. We're going to need a spatula to get all that mangoes from the blender. Then whisk. So in a mixing bowl, you're going to need to pour your powdered semovita. Then comes the oil, followed by the mango puree. Please, your mixer bowl should be larger than mine. I wanted to use my glass bowl and it's too small for this, so it shouldn't do the same thing. Otherwise, you can run the risk of your butter messing up the whole place. I'm going to whisk until it's fully combined. So once fully combined, we add the milk. We add half cup of milk and keep the other remaining part aside for later. Then gently mix them up with a whisk. You don't want to go in there like you're about to fight some bowls. It's going to splatter everywhere. So gently mix them until they're fully combined. So 
it looks like it's well combined now I'll be covering it with a lid and let it sit for about 30 minutes or more and while waiting we're going to make the mango glaze so we're going to need a cup of mango a cup of chopped mangoes <laughs> Um, we're going to need sugar, corn flour, and other things. So you add your mangoes into the blender, add sugar, half cup sugar, and then you blend the mixture. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, what are we waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel and you get notified whenever I upload new content. And also don't forget to give me a thumbs up after watching this video. So in a saucepan, you're going to add the mixture of mango sugar, add corn flour and stir it to mix. Then we're going to put it on a cooker and bring to the boil. Add some water, about one fourth cup of water, allow to boil. And then once it starts boiling, you reduce the temperature to low heat and cook for about five to four minutes. Add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Please check the consistency of the mango glaze if it's to your liking, if you want it runny or if you want it thicker. Adjust if necessary and then take off it and set aside. It's actually 35 minutes since I covered it. So now I'm going to add the baking soda, baking powder, a pinch of salt, and some milk. Stir to combine them. And you have to achieve a ribbon consistency. If not, add more milk so you get a ribbon consistency, like so. So if you haven't greased your pan, it is time for you to do so. So I'm using, I'm going to cut out some wax paper and cut out the required using some spray oil as my grease and I'm going to pour the cake batter so to make it be level I'm going to like lift it and let it drop a little to level it and then put into the oven I'm using my halogen oven here once again so I'm gonna set the timer at 14 minutes and temperature at 180 so to check if your cake is done, insert a clean toothpick inside the cake and if it comes out clean, that means your cake is done. So our cake is done and I can't wait to dive in. So you can top it with your mango glaze or you can sandwich the mango glaze in between the cake slices. Whichever one works for you is fine, but I don't want to put mango glaze all over because not everyone in the family likes sweet things. So I paired it up with an ice cream, mango ice cream. Yeah, if you want to see how I make this mango ice cream, please check the description box for links to my video on this particular mango ice cream. Together, it was so divine. I couldn't help but get another helping, yes. <laughs> to think I should be fed up with this by now. Oh, but no, 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 I'm not. I want to take this little time to appreciate my new subscribers and all those who have been following me. I'm grateful and thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos. Please subscribe to my channel so you get notified once I upload new content. Share and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe to my channel so you get notified once I and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.